scholars. Happy Wednesday. Today, we're going to talk about two important math tools that we'll be using in class and in other subjects as well. We are going to talk about two education platforms, Edgelastic and CERN. Edgelastic and CERN. Edgelastic is the first one we will discuss. It is a grading platform which will send automatic information to your teacher about how well you're understanding the material. It will be used for exit tickets, assignments, and tests. This is how your teachers will see how you are learning. CERN is another system we will be using. It's a math support system. It reinforces your daily lessons and can be used to better understand content. We will be using it in math class and in small groups. In order to access Edge Elastic, you would click on the link that is linked in your daily post from your teacher. You may need to log in. If you need to log in, click Log in with Google to access your assignments. Here is your assignment panel. Here you see that it says Not Started, In Progress, and submitted. These are important statuses for your assignments. If it says not started, that means you need to begin your assignment to complete it. Remember, each of your teachers will give three daily assignments. So you have three assignments to turn in on those days. If it says in progress, that means that you started it, but you did not submit it. And so your teacher doesn't see anything. If it says submitted it, then that means that you are done. You, you completed your assignment and you may or may not receive your score back. Here again, we are on the assignment panel. I'm going to hit resume assignment here. When you see a resume assignment, it takes you back to where you stopped. So at this, in this assignment, I stopped on question 12 of 12. Please notice the save and exit in the left corner of your page. This save, it will save your progress without submitting, but it will not count as submitted until you hit submit. Now, you will also see the text box and the questions. When you scoot over here to the right, when you scoot over here to the right, you'll notice it says question 12 of 12. That's because you're on question 12 and there are 12 questions. You can click the three bars to make a manual drop down. You'll see the questions that you have attempted, meaning that you started them and that they are now complete. It's question 12 says unanswered because it is not complete. If I wanted this box to disappear, I would hit the X. Always use quality test taking practices when doing a gelastic, as is often how we form your grades. Whenever you're working on Edge Elastic, you want to make sure you're sending in quality work. You don't want to rush or do it impulsively. Here I've added my text based off of what the teacher asked. I used at least four lines of dialogue. I followed all the necessary rules of quotation, and I pay attention to my spacing and punctuation. You want to make sure that you're submitting good work on Edge Elastic so that you can show your best self. Once I have made sure that I've followed all the directions, then I can go ahead and hit submit. If I wasn't sure with it, I would hit the flag button so that I could review it later. You, I could use the previous button here to go check out other questions. Once I click submit, I can review my questions. I see that I have one flagged, that last one that I just showed you. I can flag assignments if I'm not, or questions if I'm not entirely sure what the answer is, and I want to review it at the end. I'm also checking that all my other ones are complete. Since none of them are in red, none, all of them have been answered. If I'm content with my work, I can then hit submit. Once I have submitted my assignment, I can't work on it anymore. Then I see my grade. Here is your grade. Now, don't be discouraged yet. Sometimes on Edge Elastic, the teacher is not done grading your assignment yet. You, you make sure to scroll down. 
and you can see the, the, the breakdown of your questions. These questions that are in blue are manually graded. That means the teacher is going to review them and put the grade in. That's going to be really common for anything that you type in, like essays or short responses. We also see other information. And yet the green bars are correct bars. Every question that is marked green is a correct question. Now, if a question is marked red, that question was incorrect. That's okay. It's all growing process. Yellow means partially correct. Gray means not graded or skipped. If a skipped question will unfortunately count against you, so make sure you review your grades carefully to make sure that you are completing each assignment. Now, let's click on this green question to see some more feedback. I see that I can't answer my question correctly because of the green check mark next to my selection. I also see I have one out of one points. I could scroll down and to continue my learning and read the solution where it says the correct answer is D. Sometimes a teacher will put a solution or hint in to help us understand. I can see that I got full credit on this question. Next, I can click to my next one this, by hitting the blue arrow in this, on the sides of my screen, whether I want to go forward or backwards. Now, this one is one that is not graded yet. That's because the teacher needs to put feedback in it. Here is a question that was marked incorrectly. I needed to insert the correct punctuation. I don't want to go bed. I put a comma. If I want to see what the right answer is, I can click on the screen and it will show me what the correct answer is by hit, when I hit the button. There we go. Show correct answer. Oh, I see I should have put an exclamation point because the boy screamed. My grammar was not correct and that's why it was marked incorrect. By reviewing my, where my answers were incorrect and checking the show correct answer, I can learn more about what we are learning. I can also show the correct answer just by clicking the box. It's all about growth mindset though. We will all have answers that are incorrect, but all you can do is learn from them. Now I'm going to go back to our dashboard. Now we're back on our dashboard. I'm going to hit start assignment because I want to show you some more features of Edge Elastic. Notice on this math problem, you see a number pad. It has a lot of different powers that will help you show your mathematical understanding. And it's fraction keys, multi-fraction. It has exponents. Some of this you will use in third grade. Some of this you use when you're older. But just to show you these tools. Now, we also have the scratch pad. On some problems, you'll have a drawing tool. You can use that to help you write out some of your ideas. If I wanted to do that, I would hit the pencil in the freehand drawing tool. When I'm ready to start to erase some material, I would hit the trash can and then click on what I would like to erase. I could also Use the undo button, which I'll show you in just a second. Notice that the red box comes off and on. The red box must be on in order to delete. Again, I can use the undo button to take away my lines as well. Until it's all gone and I'm ready to move forward. You may also see a tool like this, where it says to shade three-fourths of the counters. I could click them off and on, but on Edge Elastic, it's important to check that you can scroll down. Because if I scroll down and see the different parts of the question, that might change my answer. Here, you, we, I see that I have multiple parts that I, I am responsible for on this question. I would need to make sure that I'm selecting one for each row, or depending on what the directions tell me. As you can see, 
and Scholastic is a powerful tool. And there's a lot of different ways that I can, your teacher may ask for you to input your responses. Just make sure to, if you have a question, ask. I can't wait to start using Angelastic with you. Let's get, move on to talk about our next program. Let's get ourselves on Zern and try it out. Today's daily assignment is on Zern. Refer to the My Daily Post and click on the Angelastic link. Remember, you may need to log in. If you need to log in, click Login with Google to access your assignments. If you still have trouble, reach out to your teacher. Now, I want you to work on completing today's daily task, the Wednesday page. When you are done, click Submit and let your teacher know. Now, let's talk about Zern. Zern believes in two simple ideas that everybody can learn and love math. Right now, you're on your home page. You can see that you are on lesson one, number buttons. The blue dots are all the lessons in the unit. Because you will see the sun on the first one, you know you're on lesson one. Above, you see the number gem. The number gem is, says start. Go ahead and click start when you're ready to start your lesson. As you get each activity done, it will be marked complete. And, and then it opens up another activity for you to work on. Now this is the one that we are going to start with. It math chat will help us build our fluency and in our learning and our understanding. Math chat is the most important because that's the one that will review the content. When you hit start, you will see a teacher. They will help you talk through and get your brain going about what we're learning about with math. At the top of the page, you see module one, lesson one. That tells you what lesson we're on. Now, that we sometimes we'll discuss in class what lesson we're on. It's always a good idea to try to be on the same lesson as we are in class. But it'll just help you understand when you are progressing with a lesson and when you're still working on it. Now, you're just going to go ahead and play, press play. At some point, at some point, at some point it will ask if you have pencil, these three pencil, things, a pencil, the notes, and a headphone. Um, we gave um, you a pencil and a headphone, so I know you have those. But as for the notes, those are more something that if you can print out at home if you want them. They will be but helpful for you if you want, you if want, you want, want the extra practice, if you want some, some, some space to write down. So you could ask your parent at home if they could print you the notes, which you see in the right hand corner. Also, you could just use your whiteboard, which is what I often use. Now, when we finish the lesson, we will also see the Tower of Power. The Tower of Power is where you complete independent practice. When you see that it is completed, it's almost time to check what lesson you're on. Here, I see I'm still on lesson one, number bond. Now, here's a tricky part. Zer does not make a big deal if you pass your lesson. It'll just change it to lesson two unlocked, and you'll see your star move along the dots. Now, and you will be progressing at your own pace. You don't have to worry if you're behind our class, but you can still just keep track for your own gain. Now, we're going to spend a lot of time with Zern, and I can't wait to get started. It's going to be a blast. Now that you have an overview of CERN, let's practice by logging in for the first time. Access CERN through your Clever page. If you do not have a username automatically pop up, click Login with Clever. Let your teachers know if you are experiencing any problems and we will be there to help you. For the remainder of the time, we're going to start our first CERN lesson. You may hit CERN on and start your first lesson.
when we are done and out of the time, I want to remind us that our assignment for today was our edge elastic assignment. When you are done, click submit. This is how we'll be taking our attendance and now we'll move on to movement break.